a newcomer to politics and Indiana. Now preparing for November after edging out a crowded field of opponents in the Republican primary in the 9th Congressional District. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines joins us now with details on Trey Hollingworth's win and the outlook for the general election. Katie. Scott Nerica, a local political expert, calls the win surprising. Trey Hollingsworth has only been registered to vote in Indiana since September. He has poured more than $1.3 million into his own campaign, and we're learning that his father contributed more. But the businessman beat a crowded field of recognizable names, including the Indiana Attorney General. Washington doesn't get that, so I'm running for Congress. In television ads that have blanketed the airwaves for more than three months, Trey Hollingsworth labels himself a political outsider and a conservative. My priorities will be your priorities. The candidate's pitch proved successful with voters. UND political science professor Dr. Laura Merrifield Albright points to what she calls an incredible number of TV ads. That's important for voters because they get name recognition, they see his face, they learn about his values, and when you didn't see them for the other candidates, it's going to have an impact where they don't get that from them. The 32-year-old businessman edged out a field of four opponents, including Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller, State Senators Aaron Houchin and Brent Waltz, and manufacturing executive Robert Hall. He won the Republican primary with 34 percent of the vote. Hollingsworth's campaign did not make him available today by phone or FaceTime, but he tweeted this message to supporters last night. The path to victory is paved with hard work, conservative principles and a united Republican Party. Hollingsworth will face IU professor Shelley Yoder, who won the Democratic primary by a wide margin. Uh, I think voters are hungry for somebody who's going to bring those Hoosier values uh, to to Washington, and that is somebody who is going to look to common sense to solve some of our most difficult problems. Hollingsworth's campaign just sent us a statement in the last few minutes and in it reiterating the theme of the tweet and the need for unity. Hollingsworth's opponents have criticized him for trying to buy a seat in Congress, but in order to run, candidates only need to meet the following requirements. They must be 25 years old, have been a citizen of the U.S. for seven years, and live in the state that they're chosen to represent. And the winner in November will fill Todd Young's seat. Katie Hines, RTV6.